today we will discuss about the chemical nature of auxins chemically auxins are derivatives of indole acetic acid indole is a double ringed molecule one six cornered ring and other is the five cornered ring with nitrogen and a molecule of acetic acid attached at the three position of the indole ring another important example of auxin is naphthalene acetic acid which is the synthetic and 2,4 D or 2,4 dichlorophenoxy acetic acid which is also a synthetic auxin. Now we are going to discuss some physiological roles of the auxins. Auxins are responsible for cell elongation. They elongate the cell by loosening the cell wall, decreasing its pH and activating some cell wall loosening enzymes. This loosening in cell wall helps in elongation of the cells. Causing curvature to the plant organs in response of stimuli is an important role of the auxins. They are responsible for positive phototropism by the shoot and positive geotropism by the root. Apical dominance is another important role played by the auxins. Apical dominance is the condition in which apical bud continues to grow whereas the lateral buds remain inhibited. It may be due to the production of auxins in the apical region and higher level of auxins in the apical region cause the movement of nutrients towards the apical bud so the apical bud continues to grow. Auxins are also responsible for the development of adventitious roots. Adventitious roots are the roots that originate from any part except the radical of the seed and auxins have power to develop the roots from any part of the plant that is why they are used in tissue culture as rooting medium auxins delay the abscission of young leaves and fruits by inhibiting the action of cell dissolving enzymes such as cellulase and pectinase abscission zone or leaf fall zone also cut off the nutrients and water supply to the leaf and fruit. However, auxins promote the abscission of mature or older leaves and fruits. Fruit development and regulation of fruit development is controlled by auxins. Pollens, endosperm and embryo of developing seeds are rich source of auxins. These higher level of auxins are responsible for fruit set and growth. Fruit set means conversion of ovary into the fruit. In some plant species, seedless fruits may be produced naturally or by treating the unpollinated flowers with the auxins. The production of such seedless fruits is called as parthenocarpy. Auxins may act primarily to induce the fruit set, which in turn may trigger the production of auxin by certain fruit tissues to complete the development of fruit. Auxins have a feminizing effect on some plants. In cucumber, both male and female flowers are born on the same plant, that is why it is called as monoecious. Application of auxins increase the number of female flowers to produce more cucumbers. These are some important functions performed by the auxins. Now we will discuss application of auxins. Auxins have been used commercially in agriculture and horticulture. They play important roles such as they used as the rooting of the plants. Auxins stimulate root formation on the stem cuttings such as naphthalene acetic acid etc. They are also responsible for parthenocarpy. Application of auxins such as indole acetic acid and indole butyric acid to unpollinated pistils make them develop into seedless fruits or parthenocarps which carry better market price. They are also used as VD-sides or herpicides such as 2,4-dichlorophenoxy acetic acid and 2,4,5-trichlorophenoxy acetic acid removes broad-leaved weeds in cereal crops and lawns because they do not affect mature monocots while 2,2-dichloropropanoic acid kills the grasses in broad-leaved crops. They are also used in flowering such as naphthalene acetic acid and 2,4-D are often employed for inducing flowering in lychee and pineapples.